The long, warm summer days are here. It's a great time to get outside and enjoy. And what better way than in Clark County Parks? Clark County Parks is a great uh, destination for people of all ages and abilities to come relax and enjoy. Um, there's a lot of options out there from passive recreation such as walking, picnicking, sunbathing, to active recreation such as sports play, running, cycling, swimming, climbing around play equipment, and special events like weddings. And it is okay to bring your best friend, as in furry canine friend, to most county parks. However, there are two simple rules that must be followed. It is the county's leash and scoop law. You'll see that at all of our parks, neighborhood, community, regional, open spaces, even trails, there's a poop scoop leash law sign that's at every entrance. Leash has to be uh, less than seven feet in length and must be affixed to a person. And as far as the scoop law goes, any pet waste that your animal deposits, you are required to pick it up and dispose of it in an appropriate manner. Violators of the leash and scoop law may be fined up to $250. Also, pets must be licensed. We run into a lot of issues in our parks during the nice weather. So in the summer, we do enhanced patrols of area parks. As we're noticing more population growth in Clark County, we are getting more and more complaints of off-leash dogs and people just not understanding how to control those dogs. More and more people are coming into the parks. People with their children want to just come to the park and not worry about a, a dog running and jumping on them, knocking them over. If you feel the need to let your pet run free in wide open spaces, there are off-leash dog parks in Clark County. There are off-leash dog parks in Clark County, and uh, all of them are very friendly and welcoming. Most of them have small and large dog areas. They do recommend that you do not bring children under 10, and you make sure you pack up your pet waste. It has been estimated that there are more than 100,000 dogs in Clark County, producing more than 13,000 tons of dog poop every year. When rain falls and pet waste is left outside, uh, the rain will break apart the pet waste and carry it away over hard surfaces and saturated soils into our water bodies, which have negative impacts on the health and quality of the water and the ecosystems. And even left on the grass, it can pose a significant risk to other pets and children because it's loaded with parasites and bacteria, including E. coli, Giardia, and roundworm, just to name a few. At uh, Stockford Village Park, we actually have a dog waste station. There's a bag dispenser on the top, as well as a waste can just below it. We also have dog waste stations down at Sam Creek Greenway and Sam Creek Trail. And the other locations that we have dog waste stations are in our off-leash areas, and that is really it. Um, it's expensive to operate. It costs us about $1,000 per station per year, and so it's, it's really hard to afford that expense. Fortunately, the solution is pretty easy. Bring a few extra bags with you when you're on a hike. Make sure when you, when you do bag the pet waste to go the extra mile and take it all the way to the trash can, just as a common courtesy for other people that will be using the parks. Most of all, with or without a pet, get out this summer to a Clark County Park or Trail. There are so many options and activities to choose from. July is National Parks and Recreation Month. We've got 80 parks that cover 5,000 acres, and we'd love to see our citizens come out and recreate to their heart's content. There's a lot to do. Come and join us. For more information on planning your next great outdoor experience in Clark County Parks, visit the county's website at clark.wa.gov slash parks.